Okay, so over here you have the menu button. If you press that, you can hear that, that bleeps every time you press it. So you know you've pressed it. You've got the up and the down. So when you're moving up or down the menus, you literally just tap each of those buttons. So there's only three buttons actually on the back of the ultra gauge that you'll need to know. Okay, set it up for a mini R56 or R53. Hold the menu button. Go down to ultra gauge setup. Then compatibility. Hit menu to select. You go to the power on detect mode. Make sure that's in number two. That will go on and off with the ignition then. So don't drain your battery. Okay, let's go back. Go back. See there the standard menus, if you hold down, you go to the different pages and these are all the default screens that you can see and you can edit the gauges on any of those different pages. So if we go into settings, you hold menu, go to gauge page, hit menu, select gauge page, hit menu to select it and then you can pick which of the menus you want to change, or which of the pages you want to change, should I say. Hit select page one, and then you can go through and select which ones you want to see on which position. That you can see. You can pick which number position you want on page one you want it to be. So you can see if you wanted intake pressure, you can change that. And you've got eight positions to choose from. You hit menu go down. So if you want coolant temp in degrees C, hit menu, press up or down to pick the position and hit menu again to select it. And when you're done, go back up, back up, just keep going back all the way through. And then if we hold down and go back to page one, you can see now the measures that we picked in terms of engine degree C are now showing on page one. Okay, so if you want to take a look at any engine management lights that are coming on, you press menu, take the settings, and you go down to trouble codes. Top option allows you to clear any existing ones, just hit menu and it selects it and clears it. Engine trouble codes actually view the codes themselves. You go down to that, hit menu and it tells you the counts and then if you've got any error codes it will list below that. And then pending codes as well, sometimes they appear in that, so if you again go down to that. Hit menu and you can see there we've got zero at the moment. And just to go back to your gauges, so you just keep pressing menu until you get the back option and then keep going back on that and we'll eventually get to that screen.